I'm James Robson. I'm the Victor and William Fung Director of the Asia Center. I've been in touch with pretty much every one of you individually, so uh, um, so I've, I've met you at least on email and, and over, even since last night met most of you. So um, again, uh, thank you and welcome. Um, I uh, would just like to um, quickly uh, just give you a little orientation for the day today. So we'll have some opening comments by Professor Arthur Kleinman, who I'll introduce uh, momentarily, and then we'll uh, go directly into the first panel. There are five panels uh, broken with the coffee break and then lunch uh, for those for the uh, panelists and uh, speakers. Um, and uh, that the, the day is made up, um, as, uh, as I mentioned last night, that these are going to be panel discussions uh, with short opening comments and then in the spirit of Ezra to try to engage in some questioning, dialogue, discussion about some of these key issues uh, that we tried to isolate as ones that were uh, important uh, to Professor Vogel. So that's the, uh, the structure for today. I think, you know, uh, I realized that in the invitations that I sent out, I was contacting people that I knew that were uh, old friends of ours, Ar Ar Arthur's, but, uh, excuse me, Ezra, uh, Arthur as well, as a good friend, uh, um, of Ezra's, uh, but that were, um, uh, that were either his colleagues, uh, friends in some way, somebody he had mentored, but also a younger generation of scholars that um, I think Ezra was trying to build up and make sure the fields uh, and uh, continued, and also uh, was feeding into government service and other things so we would know more about Asia. Um, that being said, I'm hoping over today uh, that you'll strike up, I know that some people know each other, but I'm hoping that people will strike up conversations and introduce each other uh, to people you don't know yet that are part of this kind of a growing a new network, I guess, of, uh, uh, that Ezra inspired that uh, is, is now sort of congealing and, and a very important time to keep those dialogues going. So, um, so please take the opportunity to, uh, to talk with some people you don't know today, and I think Ezra would appreciate that. Um, okay, so we will, um, this morning, uh, to launch things off, uh, uh, begin with some opening comments by uh, Professor Arthur Kleinman, who is the es Esther and Sidney Rabb Professor of Anthropology, uh, Professor of Global Health and Social Medicine uh, at the Harvard Medical School, and also uh, uh, one of my predecessors as a former director of the Harvard Asia Center. And uh, so I'll turn the mic over to you, Arthur, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, well, we're all here uh, for what I would call uh, uh, a period of uh, one of the key events in a period of social mourning. After all, when we lose someone, someone like Ezra, uh, really a giant at Harvard, um, there's a process of collective mourning, of social mourning. And that involves personal and collective grief, but it also involves the reaffirmation of the values that Ezra represented and that we also share. And I want to um, uh, talk toward that and what the implications of that, are, of that particular way of thinking about things are for the future. So Ezra had a perspective that took into account all of Asia. When he founded the Asia Center, he had in mind that it would be for all of Asia. But the first five directors, at least, of the Asia Center were from the China field. I was one of them. And, um, and so Ezra systematically told us, and he told me in particular detail, how important it was to see Asia broadly, to regard Asian relations between nations, uh, to move out of the focus at that time on East Asia and emphasize Southeast Asia. And so um, the first AV21 we had when I was uh, the director in 2008 to, or 2009 was in Singapore. And subsequently, we had meetings in Thailand, in, um, in uh, Malaysia, uh, and in Vietnam. Not all uh, Asia Vision 21, but other activities, all of which um, Ezra strongly supported. His message to me was, and I'm sure it was to other Asia Center directors, was that the purpose of the Asia Center was to represent Asia at Harvard and Harvard in Asia, and to create a neutral ground where Asian representatives of Asian nations could talk about things, often things that were difficult, complicated, but in a setting in which they didn't have to feel the acute pressure 
of the Asian settings from which they, from which they came, and that Harvard would be a kind of neutral player in this regard, where issues of moment but of um, tension could be could be um, could be addressed. Um, this is not a time right now of robust support around the country for area studies. Uh, rather, um, those of us who do area studies find frequently that we're swimming upstream at a moment in which you would think the deep understanding of a, a society, uh, in this particular case an Asian society, would be of the utmost value um, to our country. In fact, universities are moving toward a more superficial approach to um, uh, uh, international relations and to, and to um, particular issues in the world. Um, and I think that, um, hence, Ezra Vogel, for me, represents the best in area studies. Um, my own daughter in, in the early 90s um, did East Asian Studies concentration here at Harvard under Ezra. And, um, and it was simply because of Ezra that she majored in that, concentrated in that field. Um, Ezra was a great teacher and, and affected so many of us in so many uh, different ways. So because I want to keep my um, talk very short, I just want to say that um, the right thing to do to memorialize Ezra and to continue his influence at Harvard and to make that influence flourish in the future around um, uh, Asian studies with an emphasis um, on bringing Southeast Asia up into the uh, attention that we give to East Asia and South Asia would be to name the Asia Center for Ezra Vogel. So I, what I wanted to emphasize is the importance of developing a movement, a movement that I see um, uh, James Rosen and Charlotte Eichels playing a central role in organizing, but that would feature the, um, the significance of, of Ezra and his contribution, his building of the Asia Center, um, to represent um, not just the importance of Asia, but the detailed, specific examination of Asian societies in the deepest fashion as a, as a form of scholarship and as a form of um, action in terms of uh, influencing policy and programs in this, in this country and, and outside the country. Uh, and also uh, for its, his importance as an educator, that the Asia Center has a clear role in educating America about Asia. And it has tried to play this role in the, in the past. I think it'll play it to a greater extent in the, in the future. So my hope, my, my hope and my, my personal, uh, to, to the extent it's useful, my personal assistance would be to see a major campaign get underway to raise the funds necessary for, uh, for this wonderful center, the Asia Center, to be named the Ezra Vogel Asia Center at Harvard. I hope we'll all join in an attention to that. Regrettably, I have another event in Maine uh, three and a half hours away. So I, I'm getting in my car immediately and driving, driving up there. But good luck to everybody, and thank you for having me. Well, it should be a beautiful drive, Arthur, and I will make sure, I know that we have uh, video and uh, all of that caught on mic, I will make sure that that uh, message goes directly to the provost and the president's office, and they can uh, hear that call that, uh, that Arthur just uh, began with. Mm -hmm.